Hi, Dave with Align Therapy here. We're going to talk about three specific exercises to use with kyphosis. So we talked about kyphosis in some other videos, but kyphosis is, a lot of people think of it as bad posture. So rounding of the upper back. It can be a structural problem with the spine being shaped differently, or it can just be from weakness or being stuck at a desk all day long. So three exercises to treat kyphosis of my favorite exercises. So some of these incorporate a couple of exercises, but so it might be more than three. My first one is a foam roll exercise. I love the foam roll for posture uh, training and posture stretching. So with the foam roll, we're going to use this to increase the mobility of the upper back. So the first way, you put the foam roll on the ground. You're going to put the foam roll around your shoulder blades. Don't go in the low back with this. That's not comfortable. Your hands go behind your head. Your pelvis stays on the ground. And we're not rolling back and forth like a rolling pin like this. We're going to keep your pelvis on the ground. Foam roll goes in the upper back. And then you just relax over it. So you're trying to loosen up the area of the spine in the kyphosis, up in the thoracic spine. So you can go to the top of the shoulder blades, go back and forth a few times, do that a couple of sets, move to a new spot. You're trying to find the area that's the tightest, where you're feeling the most restriction. And doing this for about a minute and a half, just working in the upper back. Like I said, don't go in the low back. Low back is not comfortable. Your back arches this way naturally in the low back, so we don't really need to do that. So this direction with the foam roll, we're going to go this direction with the foam roll. So you're going to lay on it like this, palms up. And then you're going to work your way up until you start to feel it stretch in your pec muscles, the front of the shoulders. So here, gradually work your way up. Let your arms relax down to the floor. Doing that about 10 seconds, moving it up a little higher. So you're trying to work your way up into something like this position where we're stretching through the pecs. Again, about a minute and a half, working up from down here and working your way up to here. Okay, so that's number one, the foam roll, my favorite. Number two, I want to stretch out the lat muscles that are back here. Those come around the front of the arms and they can pull you forward. One of my favorite exercises is hanging for this. So you're going to grab onto something at eye level. You're going to drop down and you're just going to let your back stretch. As you stretch, you'll feel it stretch through the, the lats on the back of the arm. And you're just going to let gravity stretch your back out. And take some deep breaths at the same time. So hanging for about 10 breaths and doing three sets of those. So now that we've worked on the mobility, so the foam roll for mobility of the upper back hanging to elongate the spine and stretch out the lats. Now let's get into my favorite exercise for posture in general and kyphosis. So you're going to lay on a ball like this so that your feet can stay on the, on the ground but your arms can almost fully extend. Then you're going to go in three directions. So the first direction you're going to pull back so that you're just at the plane of your body. So we're not going way high with this. From the floor up and pull your shoulder blades together. So down and up. 10 times this direction. Then you're going to go straight out to your sides. Again pulling the shoulder blades together so that you're focusing on the muscles around that kyphosis. 10 times that way. And then you're going to go forward with your thumbs up. So your thumbs are going to be up in this Y position. Again, not going too high. I can't go very high anyway. Um, and pulling the shoulder blades down and together. 
So you do one set of 10 each direction. You take a little breather. Two pound weights work you, just so you know. And then you start over with the second set, 10 directions each, 10 repetitions each direction again. These are called A's, because it's like you're doing an A, a T, and a Y. So that will work those muscles that are back by the shoulder blades, back by the kyphosis. Um, you'll get mobility. You'll get more strength in those muscles. You'll get more endurance, and it will definitely help that kyphosis. If you have a structural kyphosis, meaning Schurman's kyphosis, or something with the spine, a spinal deformity, I would really suggest looking at being evaluated by someone who's trained in that and getting treatment specific to your curve. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you learned something, and join us in another movie. Thanks.